no other contamination on our side as far as politics or anything else. We're simply focused on this particular issue. But if people can use that for a resource, introduce credible data to others instead of just pointing at the sky and ranting, uh, that's a much larger help. And Alex, we like to, when people appeal to elected officials, agency officials, those that are helping to tow this lie, helping to, to hide it, if you will, in plain sight, as you stated, because they're trying to protect their paychecks and pension, appeal to these people, appeal to their their sense of responsibility to their own children to come out of the shadows and start telling the truth. Because yeah, because right no amount of money's worth having a brain damaged son or daughter. No, no, exactly right. And and what's important for people to understand is the contamination that we face and the damage done by climate engineering is extremely non-linear. It escalates rapidly as you reach the the end of the contamination cycle, if you will. So a breakdown with planetary systems, life support systems, and our own health. Uh, starts to ensue very rapidly as these saturations build up. And, and I was about so to say, I've looked at the saturations in the soil. It's on record. Yes. Even mainline scientists say they don't know why it's going up. It could kill the planet. It's like the people running things are evil aliens that want to kill the planet. I'm not saying that's what they are. But imagine when this all finally comes out, if we're successful, and I believe we will be, it's going to be 100 times bigger than Nuremberg. But there was a giant yes. scientific eugenics conspiracy playing God doing all this. You're exactly right. And I know a lot of these academicians, USDA scientists that are still in the field, still employed by the government, and their unfortunate attitude is that they're, they're trying to protect their paychecks and pensions, none of which will matter very, very soon. We need to reach out to these people. We need to reach out to our military brothers and sisters so that they know exactly what they're participating in. If they don't participate, these programs can't happen. In regard to how much metal has fallen on us, to put this in perspective, Alex, Soil pH changes in Northern California, we've seen a change of 10 to 12 times toward alkaline in the last decade. That takes a mountain of metal to make that kind of change. We've also, during the same period, seen a 90% decline, 90% in aquatic and terrestrial insects from the exposure to this metal, the intense UV. It's a virtual crash. If the bugs go, we go. And that's, that's how dire our situation Good is God. right here, right now. Good God. It's total collapse of the ecosystem they're going to use that to bring in a world government and eco tyranny to fix the planet while they're the ones wrecking it and i guess they probably got what they believe are reversal systems once they've gotten rid of us but this is just insane it is insane but what we encourage again we need everybody to help us to sound the alarm and if we could if we could simply reach critical mass where the population around the globe or military personnel understand what they're participating in that's our best bet for for bringing these programs to a halt and time is not on our side we're losing two to three hundred species of plant and animal and insect a day right now 200 a day that's 15,000 times the background extinction rate so the bottom line is again ev every day matters in this battle it Absolutely does every day. i want to get you back up in the very near future to really lay out even more of your amazing evidence geoengineering watch.org uh, dave wigington thank you so much we salute you sir thank you alex